Honduras, our beautiful green country in the heart of the continent. Lush forests and beautiful people who still struggle to make dreams come true. More than half a million Hondurans benefit from jobs in the maquila industry. But for some, there is still much to be done to improve the standard of living for the maquila workers. Frank Kenny is one of them. There's very few people that wake up in the morning and say, you know what, I want to own a sweatshop. I want to, I want to make my people starve. Not many people are thinking that. He opened Kentex in 2008 with a handful of employees. Kentex today has above 200 workers who dream of a future with dignity. The way the apparel manufacturing business works, you simply can't win a contract as a cut and sew manufacturer if you're paying much more than the minimum wage. You just can't do it. They'll go to a country or they'll go to a person in that same country that's paying the minimum wage and they'll get a lower price or they'll go to Asia, they'll go to Vietnam, they'll go somewhere else where the Bangladesh, where the, the minimum wage is a third what it is in Honduras. And the reason for that is because, especially in the, in the fashion industry, that supply chain is huge. If it, it goes from a shirt that starts in Macy's, hit about five different people before it makes it to us. And my employees who are doing all the work are being commoditized and something that they're getting their labor is maybe total involved maybe a dollar and a quarter that shirt's selling for 35 40 dollars my only solution for that was to try to walk up that slide supply chain get a lot closer to the retail market and that's when i opened standard apparel in the u.s so my my main, my main goal is certainly I want to pay more wages, but I really want to help the, 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 the families of my employees. Because one of the things we try to do here at Kentex is raise, raise our folks from the ground level and try to get them up into middle management. Everyone has, has improved as the company has also improved. Their way of, their standard of living, their, their education has improved. So the reason it's called Standard Apparel is I'm trying to raise the standard in the apparel business. And with the partnerships, trying to get partnerships with, with retail folks, get as close as retail as I can, that it will allow it will allow us to, to, to eliminate or at least shrink the supply chain which is is crushing most factory operators. I started out in 2008, until now. I used to wash t-shirts and household washers and dryers. I then moved to other departments, then packing, and after packing, I went to export, where I am right now. And the truth is that every day I just feel better at the company. Frank is a great person, 
una gran persona. He is a sweet guy. Una linda persona, Frank. I got nothing bad to say about him. He has been really good to me. I mean, with all of us, not just me. He's really special. His name is Orlin Javier. And she is Jennifer Nicole. He is the oldest. He is the guardian. He is the boss when I'm not around. Just seeing the happiness in the kids' eyes when they know that they're, that they're, maybe they don't even know, but they feel some kind of sense of stability because, and, it, and it's partially because of our, our factory here and how we've been able to improve their lives. Just the stability that would give them and the, the, the and, and more than that, the, I, what I see in them is the future, what, what can be and what will be for my employees. No matter what it takes, I'm gonna get it done. I'm gonna make sure that my employees' kids step up a level. They won't be at the same level their parents came to me in. They'll be, I wanna raise them up.